There have been a couple new studies looking at cannabis use and mental disorders. The first study says that cannabis use is linked with an increased risk of bipolar disorder and depression. One reason I'm skeptical of this particular study is that it states 6.65 million people from Denmark were part of the study, but the population of Denmark is just under 6 million. So they studied everyone in Denmark plus a mysterious additional 650,000 Danes? That just doesn't make sense to me. The second study says that cannabis-induced psychosis leads to increased diagnoses of schizophrenia six times higher than it leads to diagnoses of bipolar disorder. Cannabis and bipolar disorder seem to be a pretty controversial topic. Some say they definitely went manic because of cannabis. Now we'll say out of the five manic episodes, three of them were definitely, uh, at least a contributing factor was definitely heavy cannabis use. Uh, two of them was only a little bit of cannabis here and there. So I wouldn't say that it was a main cause for two of the episodes. However, it probably did play a factor. But definitely for three episodes, uh, heavy cannabis use really pushed me into mania in a more intense way than those other two episodes. My most intense manic episodes with the most delusions or hallucinations even were definitely those three episodes where I used a lot of cannabis, which pushed me into mania. Others say cannabis doesn't increase the number of manic episodes. It turns out that most patients that are using cannabis that also have bipolar disorder do not experience more frequent manic episodes as a result of cannabis use. Furthermore, when they're in a depressive phase, cannabis can also act as an antidepressant. I haven't had psychosis even when I had high doses of marijuana. It didn't trigger my mania. I always just felt physically sick. Here's one of my experiences. I accidentally got super high. I was at my friend's place and there was chocolate on the table. I knew it had weed in it, but I thought a little piece shouldn't affect me and I wanted the chocolate. Thank God I took the smallest piece possible instead of two, which I almost did, because an hour later I was fucked. I felt so sick and I couldn't breathe. My default state was to hold my breath, and it took so much effort to consciously breathe. Then I fell asleep for three hours on the couch. Man, alcohol, weed, these things just don't jive with my body. I'm never having anything related to weed ever again. I also know a girl who has bipolar disorder and used to smoke tons of weed every day, but she never experienced psychosis or went manic. So it seems to really depend on the person. Some people smoke weed all the time and never go manic, while others have bad manic episodes because of heavy weed use. From the second study I mentioned, it seems that a fair number of cannabis-induced psychosis triggered a diagnosis of schizophrenia but it's impossible to say whether they would have eventually been diagnosed with schizophrenia anyway, even without weed as a trigger, or if schizophrenia would never have been triggered at all and lay dormant for their whole lives. Those are mental changes from the intoxication of the drug, but it doesn't create a long-lasting psychiatric disorder. The exception to this is that marijuana can increase the risk of having a psychotic illness in people who are already prone to developing psychosis. It's like smoking helps bring out the problem. But cannabis does not cause borderline personality disorder or any personality disorder. Some people think it comes down to genetics, some being more susceptible than others to drug-triggered episodes. Who knows? When it comes to depression, it's controversial as well. The first study says weed potentially increases depression, but other people say it helps with their depression. So in conclusion, if you're prone to schizophrenia or bipolar disorder, cannabis can potentially cause you to have a schizophrenic episode, perhaps a manic episode, and maybe depression as well, but other people who may already be diagnosed with those things may not be triggered at all. So it really comes down to the individual person. Some are susceptible to drug-triggered episodes, and some don't have any problems. I guess if you smoke a lot of weed, you'll find out whether you're the vulnerable type or not, or you might not even want to risk finding out. It's up to you.